Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Last week, you may have seen my review of my brother's Justifier class destroyer mock, but then he took that apart and made an even bigger and better spaceship. This is the Bunker Hill class heavy cruiser, and this time I actually have my brother here to walk you through this amazing spaceship. So what was your idea for the spaceship before you started building it? The idea for the Bunker Hill first came into my mind when I built the four main turrets here, as you can see on the ship. I wanted to build a ship that would use them as the main battery, and while researching, I was inspired by the UNSC Spirit of Fire from Halo Wars. This influenced design had led to the slanted sides here, as well as the rear engine section, which was loosely modeled after the Spirit of Fire. So now let's just go over the spaceship design a little bit. Well, I was lacking some pieces in the beginning to build such a large ship, so I actually started building uh, a Technic backbone for which the ship would be built around, which would allow it to hold together despite its large size and weight. Yeah, I see some Technic jutting out right there. Yeah, you could see that most of the ship is covered in plates, which hides the Technic beams and allows the ship to be bigger than I would normally be allowed with the pieces I have uh, while still holding together. You can also see there's the command tower here, as I, well as I added some spring launchers for some playability, um, and built the entire thing around the backbone in the middle here. Additionally, the Technic backbone allows it to be easily picked up and not fall apart easily when played with. Some of my favorite parts of the spaceship is the engine design in the back. It gives it a nice touch as well as the structure right here between the engines. Um, and I also like the way the sides are slanted, the combination of snotting, angles, and curvature near the front. And I also see there's two hangers near the back. What are they for? Well, these hangers are to hold the support craft of the ship, like the fighter escort, as well as support craft such as shuttles and repair ships. This here is a blockade runner. As you can Five see. engines. <laughs> yeah, it's meant to go very fast and punch through enemy blockades in case of it needs to bring crucial supplies or information. So now walk me through the features of the build that make it a playable mock. Well, I always like to incorporate playability into the ship set builds so they aren't just decorations on shelves. So you can see all these turrets can be turned around and aimed in order to simulate battles and whatnot. There's turrets under here that can be aimed. I've also added, as previously mentioned, there's spring shooters right here. Whoops. Uh, and as previously mentioned, you've got the hangar with these little ships that are very fun to play around with. I also see there are two smaller spaceships over here. Yeah, I built these out of the leftover pieces once I had finished the Bunker Hill. This is the Strider class. Uh, light frigate and there's the orion heavy corvette over here i just built some some fun and i really like the way they came out so as we're wrapping this mock review up what would you do if you would build this spaceship again with any number of parts any parts that you would need well i definitely like to tile it more on the sides you can see i like to put yeah. more detailing because you've got a lot of studs there it'd be nice if i could cover that up uh Additionally, I like. I think the command tower looks a little bit out of place, and it would be nice if it could flow better with the entire mock. So that wraps it up for this mock review of this Bunker Hill class heavy cruiser mock. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe with notifications to be notified every time I upload. Peace. <laughs>